You guys, the heaviest part of the storm is about to come through. It's December 26th, just about one in the morning. Holy moly, holy moly. Sorry about the trash bag, I just put that out tonight. Holy crap, listen to that wind. I'm worried like a tree branch is gonna fall down on me. I've had my car started for like the past hour. Getting ready for this. Make sure that these windshield wipers are good. I'm not making any smears. Alright. Hang tight, guys. Well, 45. It says 41, but I promise you it's 27 outside or something. So we're going to do a long drive around the whole valley because, as I said, this is the heaviest part of the snowstorm and the heaviest snow we've received all season. Get ready for it, right, guys. This is incredible. You can't even see in front of us. As I said, the heaviest part of the storm is coming through right now. In about 45 minutes, it'll be the very heaviest part. So we're gonna go to the other side of town first where they get the least amount of snow. And then by the time we come back around, it's gonna be so nasty. I'm so excited. And there's gonna be no one on the road either. So this is great. We're gonna have a nice easy drive. But guys, thank you for all the help, man. I really appreciate the donations. They're helping me so much, you guys. I mean, they are helping me so much. My rent is only $550 per month. It's about how much I pay in gas every month at least uh, when we have winter time here. So you guys' help is tremendous. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And thank you for all the Christmas, Christmas gifts too. Just so freaking blessed to have you guys in my life. Thank you. But yeah, we're gonna do the whole valley, guys. I'm excited about this. whiteout conditions. Look at these lights. Look at how fast the wind's blowing up there. Unreal, man. Unreal. I can't even see the road, so we're just going to hopefully, hopefully we're driving in the middle of the road. I know it's hard to pay attention at night, but um, when we get to the other side of town, I'll point out that that's where you'll see the least amount of snow. And then when we come all the way back down, back by the dam, that should be the awesome part. We're not just going around the lake, we're doing the whole valley. Wow. Oh, can you hardly see it. Okay, there's the road. There's the road, and I need to turn on my lights. I'm kind of driving on the other side of the road right now, but that's okay. This is so awesome. This is the heaviest snow we've recorded all season, guys. And no one would be out here to record it so you guys can see the heaviest snowfall of the year. And I want to be the one to do that for you guys. And then I'm going to be sleeping most of tomorrow until the aftermath video. I was 
going to use some of that Venmo that you guys sent me tonight to eat dinner, but everything was closed. So when I get home, I'm going to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I am looking forward to that. But all of you that made it up here, welcome to Big Bear. We are very happy to have you here. We're happy to host you. And I hope you have a great time. Do not drive like I drive. I'm not trying to sound arrogant. I know I make it look easy, and it's really not. It takes a lot of skill and a lot of preparation. A lot of different type of brake tapping and stuff like that. So typically guys, the further we go this direction, the less snow we will have on the ground. When we get to the very end out here, I'm gonna point out to try to remember how much snow is on the ground compared to when we get back to the Big Bear Dam area. But we haven't done this whole drive in a long time, you guys. And since there's nobody on the road, because they're smart, that's why we're doing it. so pretty oh my god oh my goodness guys to the left here big bear smoking vape i'm telling you you guys have to shop there that guy is the coolest guy in town the coolest guy in town and i always like to tell you guys about him because he's very fair with everybody he really is a lot of people drive down the mountain to go buy their their regular goods, their daily goods, because it's so expensive up here. But out of, out of his shop, it's really not. And he sells a lot of Big Bear novelty stuff, and he's just a really good guy. It's called Big Bear Smoking Bait. He has a shop in Big Bear Lake and Big Bear City. That was the Big Bear City one. I know the Big Bear Lake shop could use a little more help. Don't forget also at the end of this video, I'm gonna post those beanies again. Um, I showed you guys the invoice. I know the beanies are not cheap, you guys, but it's not like I'm making a lot of money off of them. I just wanted to get the best quality that I could possibly find. And I found the same quality, as I said, that like Gucci and Versace and all of those companies use. It's 100% fine merino wool, and our logo is on a leather patch attached to it, uh, sewn onto it. They're extraordinarily nice, these things right here. And I have a few different colors and a few different color patches too. It's They're unbelievable, you guys. As I said, I paid about $30 to $31 a piece for 96 of them. And I'm selling them for $70 and then $10 for shipping. As I said, I'm not trying to make a killing off of these at all. I want everyone to have something they usually wouldn't want to go spend that kind of money for because these beanies anywhere else are going to be over $200. I'm not kidding. Do your own research and then get back to me. You'll see. But anyway, we'll talk more about that later. For the people who want beanies, I'll just let me know on one of the comments and then I'll give you my personal email and then we'll correspond through the email and then you can send the cash through Cash App or Venmo and I'll ship it out either that same day or the next day. And I'll also send you a picture of the receipt with the tracking information. We're still going to go around the whole town, but we're just going to kind of go through this one part that I really like that usually gets a little deep snow over here. up in Mammoth, they're like, huh, 
those are just snow flurries. <laughs> but you know what? This is the heaviest snow we've had all season. And no way would I ever miss it for you guys. I want you guys to see what you're going to be coming up to tomorrow. Or waking up to tomorrow when you're here. some neosporin on my face so I don't look as ugly with all those red marks. But it's kind of hard to fix ugly. <laughs> started in the car it said like 47 degrees it's 31 degrees I guarantee you it's, it's gonna get colder when we get over to uh, the other side of town too I'm still disappointed Christmas is over with So now we're turning on Shea Road. If we would turn left, we would be getting back onto Big Bear Boulevard the way that we just came down. But we're going into Baldwin Lake now. We're just gonna stay in the middle of the road. Watch out for some donkeys. Because there are donkeys over here and they are so beautiful. Guys, we're getting some serious blowing snow. It really is somewhat like blizzard conditions. It's really nice. You can't even see anything. And over here it gets so windy, so I won't be, oh my gosh, it is a blizzard. Oh my gosh. It's a pretty good time, you guys. We're not going to have any traffic to deal with. The only issue we may have is getting pulled over, but that's okay. Oops. So you slammed my brakes, and I'm able to make that turn. I didn't realize how fast we were coming up on it. That's incredible, man. 
this car and these tires are incredible. life I'm putting in danger right now is myself. There's nobody else out here on the roads. So please don't get upset if I'm driving a little fast. We just, I'm just trying to enjoy this a bit. So we are in Baldwin. And the further we get into Baldwin, the less snow there will be. Maybe not falling from the sky, but the less snow on the ground. I can still see brown patches over here, guys. over here. 
here, man. That is so cool. driving light speed. That's the way that it feels. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. I really hope you guys do really enjoy this. I really do. I don't sleep. I don't do anything when we have this type of weather. I just like to be out here for any change. Come on, man. I don't have to pass that guy. Damn it. So if we make a right here, we would be heading into Lucerne Valley. But we're making a left. just driving that kind of truck up here right now though I'll tell you that oh thanks dude, dude thank you man thank you whoa 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 I can't see anything I can't see the road I can't see anything holy crap hang on guys okay there we go holy crap now we really can't see anything, but I want you guys to see how hard it's snowing. Oh, 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 oh my God. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Gee. this like mysterious light bulb that's just in the middle of nowhere. It's the weirdest thing. It really is the weirdest thing. It's the middle of nowhere. So we're out of Baldwin Lake and we are on Highway 18 as if you came up from Lucerne Valley trying to get into Big Bear. And that is the route we are taking. Wow, I can't, I can't see. Yeah, that's a lot better. But I want you guys to still be able to see just how gnarly this is, so we're just going to keep on going with the brights. Oh man, is that a car coming? Yep. Oh no, that's a car stopped.
part is we haven't really had to use the windshield wipers. Notice, guys, the further we go this direction, the more snow you're going to see. Side of the road there, Nikki Boo. 
really coming down, you guys. The snow is gorgeous. I don't see anybody beyond this guy, but it's not worth the risk. He's doing a good job plowing for us. But I could plow for him. You guys hear the plow? How cool is that? How freaking cool is that, man? Yeah, there's no one coming. We're good. We are totally good. blizzard guys this is awesome I can't believe it I don't remember having a blizzard in town for, for a couple years so this is nice a real blizzard here, but it's going to get a little heavier, believe it or not. I keep 
keep the brights on for you guys so you can see how heavy it's snowing. Seriously guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and support you guys show me. I have so much fun doing this for you guys. It's, it, it means the world to me. This makes me so happy and I've been so down and out. So thank you guys. And thank you guys for being my friends and my family. I appreciate it. cars driving on the other direction with their lights off because that would be a very bad accident as you guys can see the snow is getting heavier and heavier over here deeper and deeper over here Oh, power outages. That's what they're doing. 
man, those guys, you got to give them a lot of love because they're out here trying to put the power back and restore the power where it is just absolutely devastating weather right now. At least the guy's clearing the road for us a bit. I appreciate that. Next little straight away, of course, we're gonna have to pass it. I think I'd be really good at this job in front of us. It would be a fun job. I could have my YouTube channel doing that, man. That'd be awesome. Because we'd be obviously driving in the worst of the weather, but I always drive in the worst of the weather anyway, so it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. to the straightaway. And please guys, don't get mad at me for doing this. If there were other people on the road, I'm not gonna do that. But it's just the snowplow guy. heavy and fast the wind's blowing. Heavy the snow is and how fast the wind's blowing. God, so much snow in the car right now. Turn on the windshield thing a little bit more. I know it's annoying, but the less we have to use the windshield wipers, the better, so you guys can see better. <laughs> but we still made it safely, so that's okay. Got a little sideways on this turn here. I tell you guys, 25 mile per hour speed limit. We are going 28 miles per hour right now. And I always joke about don't blink because you'll miss Vaughn skin, but with all this snow, you can't even see it anyway.
invited me to do that. Again, I know it makes it harder to see with the brights on when you're driving in heavy snow and fog. I know that. But I'm just trying to give you guys the perspective to see the blizzard. and get some thunder snow you guys that would be kind of cool i'd be very very excited for that even though it's a rare thing we get it pretty often up here oh my god holy smokes you guys it was going to get seriously heavy over here. I hope it didn't cut out for too long. But I know the camera just cut out. I hope it wasn't because of overheating. But it's getting so bad over here.
help us a little bit. Maybe, I can't even see his tracks on it. Guys, this is the heaviest blizzard I've ever driven in Big Bear. No joke. If you don't believe me, go through all 2,700 videos and see for yourself. <laughs> Seems like we're going fast, but we're only going 20 miles an hour. I'm seriously excited to see what the dam looks like right now. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Oh my, oh my god, hang on, hang on. Look at that, guys, I can't see anything. That doesn't make sense, that's an oxymoron. Look at that, I can't see anything. I think we're at the dam. Look at how windy it is. Holy smokes, guys. This is incredible. Oh my god, look at this. It's just a straight up blizzard, man. Stick my thing out the window so you guys can see. Yeah, this is the heaviest part of town for snow, guys. We're about to go through here. I'm not gonna run through the light, but unfortunately sometimes I have to because the snow will be so deep right here that it won't sense the car for some reason. But look at how fast this snow is blowing. Unbelievable. Just incredible. Yeah, this thing ain't, ain't changing for us and there's no cars coming. I'm not trying to do anything illegal, guys, but we've been waiting here and nothing's changing, so we're going. Come on. It's so deep over here. Okay, where the hell are we? Oh my God, I'm really kind of like freaked out. snow is so deep on the ground it's, it's making it hard to drive right now I told you guys this this part of town man it's way different you get a lot more snow over here please don't tell me there's an accident or something that guy's trying to help push him through which is very nice of him but and that was really nice of that guy to help push had the proper truck too but he was having issues look those were four-wheel drive vehicles guys struggling over here and I don't like to see that but I'm glad that we're not struggling yet as I said this is the heaviest part of town when it comes to snow come into town on highway 18 guys this is nasty this is very very dangerous very very dangerous and it's 140 in the morning right about now is when the 
the massive part of the storm is, is coming through. So we're hitting it perfectly. Oops, just got a bunch of snow fall in the car. That's okay though. next little part can be a little bit sketchy because it's downhill, left, right, left. But we'll be good. Oop, hey there. Hey there, buddy. I'm going to have to have the windshield wiper on a little bit more. Sorry for those guys in those four-wheel drive vehicles that were having no chance. At least since there's no traffic, it shouldn't take AAA more than a few hours to get to you at this point. Doing the whole valley, I think we've only passed like three, three or four cars total through this whole excursion. Okay, this is a little bit dangerous too because it's a downhill part, but we'll be good. We will be good. Boulder Bay is just here to the left. Thank God I know the area because I can't even see where we're at. But by by the turns of the road, I know where we're at. That's pretty cool. Oops. Is that a... No, that's not a... That's not a car light. I thought it was. So Boulder Bay Park is here to the left. That is a vehicle light ahead of us. safer from this point on because it's mostly straight. blizzard I've ever driven in, 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 in Big Bear. I've driven in deeper snow for sure, but it's the, this is, I've never seen it snow this heavy. It 
it would have been like this all day yesterday when we got the seven inches of rain and, it, and we'd have about seven feet of snow guys if it was all rain I mean if it was all snow isn't that incredible and just for giggles we're gonna drive through the village because it'll look beautiful right now with a blizzard taking practice you guys as I do donuts in parking lots all the time I lose control intentionally all the time so I can be better at this and make it more safe let's see if I can get some of the snow off the windshield wipers here by moving them a little faster here it's 29 degrees. It's not really helping with the windshield wipers. this stoplight we will be entering the village and then we're gonna go through the whole village and then head back to Moonridge we're making some fresh tracks in the new snow that's good I like that because it looks so fresh and new and beautiful hear that it was like doo -doo -doo. Wow, this is so unbelievably beautiful all right we're gonna go down this the rest of the village here sad this place crave main lobster closed down permanently such a bummer man they had such good food but i just think it was a little out of the price range for the people in this town unfortunately it was like 25 bucks for a lobster roll but they were really good it was worth it it's just really sad to see people like that who work hard to build their business and then they get screwed so let's get a little sideways right here. And we're making fresh tracks on Big Bear Boulevard too for the most part.
7-Eleven's coming right up here to the right. tell you guys thanks again for cruising with me that was a lot of fun it's scary at times but it was a lot of fun i hope you guys enjoy it biggest blizzard i've ever driven in in big bear